hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Don Holy and in this video I'm coming to help you on how to get your admission letter and other documents printed from your college of education portal okay so this is the beautiful portal for college of education and then we are going to go about everything step by step right from the very beginning so we get to the end of this video so please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you are a new member to this channel and if you are an old member, thank you for coming back. Let's get straight into the video, okay? So I'm going to start everything afresh. This is how the portal looks like. But how we'll be able to arrive at this stage, I'm going to start everything afresh. So let's open a new tab and we type what? GH admission, all right? So I type GH admission, we hit on it. And um, when it's downloading, you can do this with your phone as well. So when it's downloading, click on what? GH admission. Then you wait for a while for the portal to load and then come like the way it was when we started the video okay so this is the portal okay so one of the people whom i have done application for to college of education has actually gotten admission at kb presbyterian college of education okay so i'm coming to get her details for her that's the admission letter and the other documents that she needs to um, carry along or anything that she needs to. So we have series of uh, level of education here, but in this case, we are going to do with what college of education. So I'll select what college of education. Then I'll wait for a while. It will load. Select academic year, which will be 2022. Then you wait. Then you write that all the schools have that are on this platform are here. Not every school. Some of the schools have their own portal that they were using so this is for just a few of them so we have what so we have what kibi presbyterian college of education so i'll select it then i'll click on what check then i'll wait for a while for the portal to open when it's done open they will ask me to input um the application number okay so if you have not received an admission yet you cannot go through this process okay and then if in case you having the, any difficulty you can contact me or you can contact this very number displaying here to take you directly to the school secretariat you can find out about any information that you need to find out about your application okay or about your application or your admission to the institution before you take a next step so i'm coming to input the application number this part will be blank so you guys would not see it for security reasons so i am done inputting this i'll click on what search then i'll wait for a while for the portal to load uh, so it's done loading and then so you could see this is her name here Apia gladys all right then the application number is also here then the year and everything is also here so i can still re request that she resend me the mm -hmm. code again and they will do that okay but that's not what I'm in here for. I'm going to print the distance street. And the program they've mm -hmm. given her is what? Mm -hmm. um, be it in mm -hmm. English and Ghanaian language education. It's because she is an art student. And I'm be wondering, now that the system hasn't changed, it's not like first that you go to the school before the first semester, you choose the program you want to pursue. But this one, straightforward, she's been given what? English and Ghanaian language education which means he's going to he's either going to minor in one and major in one or do the two at a go all right so we will straight forward and we click on not print letter so when you click on print letter it will take you to the next portal where you'll be asked to input the application number again and then uh, you input the pin okay so this pin and application numbers are different from the ones that you've used in doing your application all right so i'm done inputting it to all that i now is to click on what sign in then i'll wait for a while for the portal to load and then um everything will be displayed for me here. okay so at this stage um we have what print or reprint admission letter they have what examination result this examination result is not that they are coming to write an entrance exam no okay so when you're in a school you've written your end of semester exams you use the same portal to check so this very uh, pin and a serial number that is being given to you application number that is being given to you you keep it very well you don't lose it so that when you are in a school 
and you're supposed to check your portal for your um, result and all that you don't find yourself wanting okay so i'll go straight to where they click on hot print up reprint admission letter then i wait for a while for the portal to load and then um boom this is the portal here so this is from key presbyterian carriage of education then you see there are some other details here that you need to take a look at all right so my sister is going to offer beard in Ghanaian language education as at uh, Kibi Presbyterian College of Education and then she's supposed to pay a non-refundable um, commitment fee before 30th of December 2022 it means if you haven't done the payment before 30th of December 2022 your admission will be cancelled all right your admission will be cancelled then when you are done the, the distance is in two folds they have a non-refundable uh, school fees that's the admission fee or acceptance fee you have to do that which is here and then you have another one to say what other charges that is also stated here okay so these two has to be paid to two different separate accounts okay so you take a look and note of that then when you come down here there are some things that you need to carry along before you go to the school but mind you, once you are done doing your application, you are supposed to submit the the bank drafts to the school for your prospectus. All right. Some schools will give you the prospectus directly on the portal. Okay. So when you are done doing the payment, you don't have any problem by going to the school to get take your prospectus and all that. But with TB Presbyterian College of Education, you are supposed to submit the prospectus or the bank draft to the school for your prospectus. All right. So these are some additional things that you need to carry along when you are sending the bank, bank draft or you are about to report to school, okay? So you have uh, two copies of your admission letter. This very one we are doing here. Then you have uh, two copies of your SSE or YC resort slip, okay? That if you have the resort itself, you don't have any problem. You can just put two copies and take it there. Then if you don't have the result itself, you take a photocopy of the results. So the one you printed at the cafe. If you can't, if you, if in case you, you lost it, just check the description box below. My number is there. Contact me and then you buy the checker. I'll check the results for you for free. Okay. So e-switch card. If you don't have e-switch card, don't worry. When you go to the school, they'll do it for you. Snit card. If you don't have it, don't worry. If you go to the school, they'll do it for you. So these two are optional. All right. These two e switch and then um, the needs card are optional. Then you have an NHIS card, that one is mandatory. You need to have an NHIS card. If you don't have one, then go and do it now. Then, Dix, in all, you're supposed to, the opening date for College of Education in Ghana, Dix is very early, 2022, will be on 21st of June 2023. All right. So, this is all about states. Then we cannot go back and then print our letter now. So, we want to click on what print letter. Then we wait for it to load. So now our uh, this thing is done loading. It's just the same thing as we've read, and uh, the same things that were here. Okay. So you just click on what print. Then you wait for a while for it to put itself in the print format. Okay. Put itself in the print format. Then um, you go on. So let it put itself in the print format, and let's see how we can go about it. All right. So when you click on the print, this is the format in which it will come. This is if you are using a laptop, this is the format in which it will come. If you are using your phone too, it will come in this format. So you just click on save and then um, you select the, the the folder in which you want to save it and you put it on a pen drive or if it's on your phone, you take the phone to the cafe and then they pick it from your phone and do the printing for you. Okay, so this is it. So we can now close this part and then we go to hot download document so click on download document and then um we wait for the documents to load this is the declaration form actually so the declaration form will load and then um we can go straight forward print it as well and then do the filling of it and submit to the school on the day of submitting our bank draft okay so try as much as possible to do all these things within the shortest possible time so that you do not get yourself wanting okay you do not get yourself wanting so this is the other document okay so when it comes like this you click on what download all right so when it, once you click on download 
you wait for a while and then um, it will load okay so the PDF is loading all right so when a PDF load you see the declaration form some part that you have to fill some part that your parents have to fill for you or your guardian have to fill for you before you submit it to the school for validation okay so you can see other our KB Presbyterian College of Education they have a student personal data so you have your name the other name data of birth hometown place of birth basically some of the things that you filled in when you are doing your application okay so you ask to state all the 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 subjects you've are using the application process and then the grades you have in each of them the school you've attended like just basically things about yourself your hobby your postal address then come to your guardian and all that then the fees you're supposed to pay okay so the fees are also here so um the fee you're supposed to pay which is admission fee is what 2991 Ghana series 459 pesos okay so this i don't know where they are getting this for 459 pesos from all right and mind you if you do the payment without this four uh, uh, four five nine pesos right you are not done with the payment they will send you back to the bank to go and do it okay the additional charge uh, additional charge of what thousand and nine for males and then 930 for me for females but, but why why is that of the, the males higher than the females so this is the breakdown of why you are paying the thousand and nine thousand and ninety for for males and then uh, 930 for females this is the breakdown of it all right so please do this quick 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 and then make sure you submit the the bank draft to the school and get your prospectors come back and come and prepare for school before 21st mm -hmm. january 2022 so that you do not get yourself into any mess make sure you submit it if you don't submit the bank draft before 30th of this month december trust me the admission will be cancelled though you cannot the payment and then put the bank draft in the house but if you don't the admission will be cancelled all right so thank you very much for watching the video till this point i will see you in my video but if you are a new member please subscribe to the channel Turn on post notification button so that you get notified once I release a new video. If you are new, if you are an old member, thanks for coming back and please help me recommend this channel to at least a person. It will be of a very great help for myself and to the society. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video. The name still remains Don Holy. Peace. I'm out.